Hey guys, I'm back. I know it's been a while. Uh, I'm trying a new camera style here. We're doing the uh, sort of Survivor Man type thing where I have a tripod and camera at an angle that so sort of follow me around like this. Am I making you dizzy yet? Okay. Anyway, uh, just wanted to sort of give you an update on uh, what's been going on in my life recently and uh, show you kind of what I'm dealing with. So, um, as you can see right now, there's, you know, lights on. And uh, about a little after 9 o'clock last night, that wasn't the case uh, because the power um, went out, shuttered on and off about a dozen times, and then it went uh, completely off after a uh, course of about 20 minutes and it stayed off for a few hours. Um, and uh, just wanted to talk to you about the kind of drills that I went through um, that I've learned over time uh, to deal with this because um, unlike many of you I'm not attached to a uh, city water supply so when the power goes out then there's not electricity to run the pumps uh, for the well or the uh, septic system. Now we have a generator um, and uh, hopefully I'll get some footage of that so I can uh, show you guys how to operate that and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but in the meantime uh, what I was recommended to do is store water and uh, after last year's windstorms I uh, took that in earnest and started doing that. Um, you've already seen a lot of my water storage but uh, I'll just go over some of the things that uh, I did last night uh, just to show you uh, filling the stuff up that I had on hand. So uh, here is a lot of the uh, water that is stored in here and uh, you know I mentioned before that uh, I don't keep a lot of uh, food in my refrigerator and most of the stuff is dried uh, food and uh, you'll you'll realize that I really mean that when uh, you'll see my fridge right now but uh, anyway um, here we go so as you can see we've got these reusing, reusing these uh, Gatorade bottles these are pretty tough bottles, um, gallons, and two, uh, two two liters on the angle of the camera. I can't really get that anyway. And uh, my platypus. And uh, these are great little bags um, that I got. Um, this originally has a mojito mix in it, but um, these are like three dollars and they make really cheap uh, water carriers like you know, like the platypus, except for these are a lot cheaper, and you know, it's reusing stuff and holds a lot of water, and but condenses to the same size uh, as this, just folds up when you're not using it. Okay, and uh, condiments. You know, not a lot of stuff in my fridge. So, <clears throat> um, anyway, uh, storing water there. And uh, then the other thing that I did was uh, the first opportunity I got out my uh, thermoses and uh, vacuum flasks here. So I'll show you that stuff. So here's uh, you know my two thermoses. These are hold uh, water that I boiled last night. It's probably still warm, but I'm not going to use my other hand to open it right now. And uh, uh, food, a food jar, a vacuum food jar, and so this will keep the water warm for at least 10 hours, probably more. Um, uh, the one that works, this one, the seal isn't working, but this one should hold it for that long. And uh, you know, obviously, if you've cooked some food, you can keep it warm in here for, again, you know, eight to 10 hours, something like that. Ah, so, um, so yeah, and then. Um, what I did was I uh, took the time immediately to use this uh, large surface that I have here on my 
uh, on my wood furnace here. There's a this wood furnace has a large surface area on the top, and you can actually uh, heat water and uh, things like that, keep things warm on uh, to on this surface. If you've and it, it you could probably even cook on it or boil water if you uh, got the. I actually you can boil water. I have boiled water on this before, um, but you have to you know really get the fire going to do that, especially because um, the electric uh, fan, the blower in the bottom, will not be working uh, when the power's out, obviously. But um, I like the wood furnace because uh, it it works um, when the power's out. So uh, heating is a big deal. It's a big issue. Uh, keeping the house warm and uh, the the fireplace, the the wood furnace there does a great job. And uh, just to show you some of the like the huge logs that I've been you know throwing in here. There's, you know, these big, really big logs. So, um, here, there's my hand, you know, for, uh, you know, size, size, uh, comparison there. But, uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, and then obviously got the, uh, cold weather gear to hand. Uh, my field jacket system I showed you earlier. And, uh, my MSS also I pulled out. Um, just in case, uh, I got really cold and uh, the you know the fire died out or, or whatever and uh, you know you find yourself in uh, a house that's you know 40 degrees or 50 degrees or something which is uh, which happens often here um, but uh, thankfully once you get the house heated up to you know at least 60 it usually stays that way for a couple days but uh, now we're going to show you what exactly I've uh, been dealing with and uh, we're going to take a, some time to go outside and uh, it's like, I don't know, I think it snowed at least another foot uh, since last night. So uh, we're going to show you what that's like here and the uh, snow is a completely different texture now. It's kind of hard and crusty on top, uh, but it's still, it's still, the snow is still falling, uh, which is pretty amazing. It's been snowing here for about uh, five days now. And about the first day I could have drove out, uh, but not anymore. Um, if I had the snow tires, maybe, but my car is very low to the ground, and uh, so it's pretty hard to plow through all this stuff, and uh, that's definitely a consideration to think about um, if you're dealing with this often, uh, or you're looking for a bug out vehicle, uh, four wheel drive is uh, in a high, higher up vehicle you know, might be worth it to you, uh, depends. So anyway, let's uh, take a look here. <clears throat> now, I don't know if you can see really the magnitude of this uh, because of the exposure on the camera, but it looks okay. Uh, but as you can see, it is falling. Uh, snow is falling right now. Um, and there's quite a lot of fog. There's a really low visibility out on the water, as you can see. Um, and uh, we're going to show you what this snow is like and how deep this really is, because I'm not sure if you can tell. So, um, here, listen to the sound that this makes. So, there's <laughs> there's the sound, and um, and uh, maybe you can see how deep that is here. Let me put my foot in for reference. So, it's like, you know, all the way past my shoe, past my boot here. Okay, and uh, somewhere in the vicinity of the base of that tree over there is where my wood pile was, and uh, I've been carting wood uh, back over here to the house, you know, uncovering the wood pile and, and pulling it back over here. We've got another wood pile over here and lots of places where we've uh, collected sticks and things like that for tinder. Uh, but the best tinder actually was uh, down there um, where there's some really light, uh, thin, um, I guess it was it's a dead poison oak or, or uh, poison ivy or something. Um, but it's got, you know, it's got really thin 
um, twigs, so it's good to start fires with. And it's dead, you know, so it doesn't hurt anybody. But, um, yeah, there was, uh, coupled with the, the snow, there was lots of wind. Um, here, there wasn't much wind, you know, maybe 30 miles an hour, 20 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour. Um, last year, when we had the windstorm, it was up to, like, 70 miles an hour. And here, with these big trees, okay, uh, right off, uh, right on the water, uh, it was not, it was not good. We are not having a fun time. And, uh, if you can see right over here, this empty spot over here, there was a very, very large tree there. And, uh, that tree after the windstorm was leaning, uh, conspicuously towards the house. So, um, at like a 45 degree angle. So we had to take that out. <coughs> out. Excuse me. And uh, we haven't, you know, chopped it up into little pieces and used it for firewood yet, but uh, it certainly would uh, suffice to do that at some point. Um, though, considering how big it is, it would be, almost be cheaper to buy wood. And uh, certainly going to have to buy some more wood for next winter. Um, but the wood that I have been using uh, started off as like 12 cords at our old house that we actually moved over here and uh, it's lasted uh, six to eight years now so um, that was like four trees so uh, as you can see you know trees are, are a great resource and uh, I like I like having a wood furnace um, being able to heat the house and uh, cook in emergency is uh, great. Also, uh, I, I uh, acquired uh, secondhand a uh, butane stove, uh, which is a uh, pretty nice little unit. Um, and uh, that, that's, that comes in handy also when you're trying to cook something in a hurry uh, when the power's out and uh, you don't want to have to wait around for the uh, the wood stove to heat up because um, you know it, it does have that large service area but it's also a very it's very big stove um, so you know it takes more heat to uh, get it all uh, you know the, the heat is a little bit less uh, efficient that way because it's much larger uh, but on the plus side you can put in much larger logs and you don't have to cut the logs down so you know, plus and minus is there, and, uh, yeah, uh, we'll probably show you around a little bit more, uh, thanks for watching, maybe we can catch some deer, okay, uh, before we go outside, I just wanted to, uh, mention that, uh, it's, it was a, uh, propane stove, not a butane stove, so I lied, I'm sorry, uh, propane, so, uh, you know, got we got uh, several bottles of propane uh, stored, but uh, this is what it looks like. Um, this thing is probably at least 20 years old, but anyway, we'll take a look at it here. So, it's the uh, Primus Century, you know, this thing. And it's got two burners on it, you know, connects to propane. So, you know, it's it's pretty nice. It's not something you backpack with or anything, but uh, it's good if you're stationary or you got a vehicle or something. So anyway, uh, let's uh, go outside and see what we can see here. Craziness, crazy weather. Okay. As you can see, I've walked up here, but uh, that's the hill that I uh, that I travel up every day. And uh, you know, I'm not with the car in this weather, but uh, <laughs> not anymore. Uh, the car's up the hill, which you know could be handy at some point, you know. But but uh, you know, we like uh, we like deer. We like the family of deer. 
And uh, so, you know, we let them walk around and stuff. And uh, they're definitely trying to find food out here. I uh, saw them out there uh, yesterday. Uh, trying to find food and playing around and stuff. So, uh, you know, let's see if we can uh, show you these tracks or not. Um, let's try to find a good one where you can see the cloven hoof here. The snow is starting to melt a little bit, so it's not as easy to see anymore. Now it's getting wet. So uh, let's see if you can see this. Okay, um Yeah, I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but okay, there see there's like a, a notch in between the two dark areas. It's about the size of a deer and there's deer running around here all the time, so I'm figuring it's a deer. Could be wrong, but uh, I think it's a deer. So, uh, pretty cool. You know, eventually I'd like to learn uh, tracking and stuff like that, but that's a huge topic. And it sure takes years to learn that properly. So, you know, but uh, it's interesting. So, anyway, and, uh, you know, is this cool? I don't know. I mean, it's, uh, a lot of snow. Um, sort of the kind of unfortunate part about it is there's so much snow, and it's snow. It's uh, so cold. My car has always been outside. Is uh, can't uh, start it anymore. And uh, I've always used my car as sort of an alternate power source if the power goes out. Um, now I've got the phone charger, and I've got an inverter, so, you know, you can always use it to power your small electronics and stuff, but, um, and I could probably still use the battery, but, uh, without being able to start the engine, you know, that's, that's not a really good way to go about things. So, you know, uh, that, that, you know, that's, that's kind of worrisome, especially because you know, anything, anything went horribly wrong out here for some reason. Uh, I couldn't, I couldn't drive out myself. Now I do have several neighbors with four by fours, so you know I could make it out here, and uh, they're, they're the neighborly type. They'd help out. And uh, in fact, I'm, I'm really uh, encouraged uh, to know uh, how people are reacting to this in the hand, and how people are helping everyone. Uh, uh, each other out, you know, we're all helping each other out, and, uh, this is, this is a, uh, private road, so, um, you know, there's, there's no city people coming out here to plow the road or anything, uh, so, you know, we're all helping each other out, I had, uh, some guys help me move the car up the hill, uh, into the, into a flat spot, I got the car up the hill, but then, you know, getting it parked off the road, uh, needed a push, because my car turned into a snow plow, and it's not a very good one. And, you know, I'm going to be dealing with, uh, you know, neighbors check, check, uh, ch you know, check to see how I was doing and if I had water stored and, um, you know, going to show me about the generator and things like that. So, you know, we're helping each other out, and the guy next door has a generator, so, you know, I don't, uh, I don't yet. I, I, it's really not uh, cost effective for me. I don't really need one. Uh, but I would like a battery backup, and so, uh, trying to raise money for that. Uh, and, uh, but, you know, there's all kinds of things going on this year, and a lot of people are in hard times. I'm in hard times, but, you know, I'm barely scraping by, uh, really, when you think about it, uh, because I've been losing money this entire year. Hope everybody out there is, uh, has, uh, good holidays, um, where they're at. And, uh, stay safe. Uh, don't try to drive in this kind of stuff. Please. Uh, and, uh, just sort of hunker down and, and, uh, keep warm. So, uh, thanks everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. Stay safe.